Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Slime 3K Rise Against Despot. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, this is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about five bucks. It's important to stress Early Access. Everything that you're seeing here is subject to change. This is another one of those top-down vampire survivor-like games. It's a roguelite in the sense that you're going to be embarking on a series of runs. You get stronger with every run. You'll be able to throw DNA points in this case, into an upgrade system and just make your slime more powerful. I really don't care about the lore, but I love leveling up and I love unlocking new abilities. My favorite part about this game, though, is the deck builder system. You'll be able to put together a series of cards that will shape your deck. And as you play this game, uh, you pick a level, and as you play it, as you move your slime around, you will eventually kill enough enemies in order to unlock a new upgrade. And it's it's in the form of this, like this vending machine that you walk over to. Once you run into it, you'll be given some extra currency that you can spend at this thing, and you'll unlock new abilities for the bottom of your screen. The, on the left-hand side of that middle bar are all of your active abilities, and on the right side is inactive abilities. But you can still upgrade your inactive abilities. Um, when you get three of a kind, you can upgrade that ability to the next tier. So if you have like a, a, a card that has a one zombie on it, another card that has a one zombie on it, if you get a third one zombie, then you'll they'll all combine into one and there'll be a level two zombie at that point. So by combining three cards, you upgrade it to the next tier. And each card has their own tier system. There's like C, B, A, S, D and whatever and and whenever you're putting your deck together in the deck builder you'll be able to see that and you unlock more cards as you play as well as you unlock or as you level up your profile you'll unlock new cards and you know that's something I really look forward to when I play games like this I, I love unlocking new abilities I like checking out you know what kind of synergies can I create with this new card that I unlock I, I love stuff like that the gameplay itself like just walking around with this giant slime eh, it's, it's just i don't care i mean it, it's kind of got that whole despot universe thing the, the, the tiny build has released a couple of games already with this particular theme in mind in another game that they released you're actually controlling the humans and you're trying to make your way through a series of levels and the like but this game focuses on the slime itself and it's just it's vampire survivors but with, but with a slime instead um but yeah the game plays fairly smooth no crashes or anything like that. Um, first impressions are fairly good for $5. I mean, it's just another one of those deck builder roguelite kinds of games where, you know, you're just unlocking new abilities as you go. If, if you like Vampire Survivors, you may like this. Um, again, there's that upgrade system with the DNA points. There's the, you know, unlocking new card system. That's also pretty fun. And your goal is just to get from level to level to level and some some of your abilities are locked behind uh, a level. So you have to beat the levels in order to unlock new content as well. So yeah, all in all, not a bad game. Uh, you know, I, I look forward to seeing what else it does because there's so many games like this out there. But um, it's still fairly enjoyable as is. All right, well, that said, this is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.